Hello and welcome to iCalculator's video series on US tax basics. In this video, we'll be focusing on the state of Arizona. We'll cover the state's history, types of taxes and exemptions, and how those tax revenues are used to fund government services and programs. Arizona became a U.S. territory in 1846 after being ceded by Mexico following the Mexican-American War. It became the 48th state to join the Union in 1912. Known for its stunning natural beauty, including the Grand Canyon, Arizona's economy is driven by a mix of industries, including tourism, technology, aerospace and defense, and mining. Historically, Arizona has relied on sales taxes and property taxes as its primary sources of revenue. However, the state has recently implemented tax reforms to diversify its tax base. In 2019, Arizona voters approved Proposition 126, which amended the state's constitution to prohibit new taxes on services such as health care and financial advice. The state has also lowered its corporate income tax rate to make it more competitive with neighboring states. It's important to understand the various taxes and tax exemptions, so you can make better informed financial decisions for yourself or your business. First let's take a look at the different types of taxes in Arizona. Income tax. Property tax. Sales tax. Use tax. Transient lodging tax. Luxury tax. Vehicle license tax and estate tax. Now let's take a look at these different types in further detail. Income tax is a tax on individual and corporate income. The state of Arizona uses a graduated tax system, which means that individuals who earn more money pay a higher percentage of their income in taxes. Property tax is a tax on real estate and personal property owned by individuals and businesses. Sales tax is a tax on the sale of goods and services in Arizona. Individual counties and municipalities can also impose additional sales taxes. Use tax is a tax on goods purchased outside of Arizona, but used within the state. Transient lodging tax is a tax on lodging, including hotels and vacation rentals. Luxury tax is a tax on luxury items such as jewelry, furs, and boats. Vehicle license tax is a tax on the value of registered vehicles in Arizona. Estate tax is a tax on the value of a deceased person's estate. Now we have covered the different types of taxes in detail, let's now take a look at the various tax exemptions available in Arizona. There are various tax exemptions available in Arizona, including, personal and dependents exemptions, a tax exemption that allows taxpayers to reduce their taxable income by a certain amount for themselves and their dependents. Retirement income, a tax exemption that applies to money received by individuals after they stop working, such as pensions, IRA and 401k distributions, and social security. Social Security Income, a tax exemption that applies to the retirement benefit provided by the government. Military Pay Income, a tax exemption that applies to income received by active duty military personnel and veterans. Railroad Retirement Benefits, a tax exemption that applies to retirement benefits paid to railroad workers and their spouses. That is all for this video on Arizona Tax Basics. We hope that this Arizona State Tax Guide was helpful in providing you with a better understanding of the state's tax system. By knowing more about the history, types of taxes, how taxes work and the various exemptions available, you can make better informed financial decisions for yourself or your business. Be sure to stay tuned for the next state tax guide in this series, or check out our US Tax Basics playlist. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos.